So I'm here today with Tim Menzies, the guest editor for our upcoming special issue on software analytics. Welcome, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> what I wanted to do was just get a little synopsis from you about what, the, what are some of the highlights of the special issue. First, maybe we should start with software analytics is clearly a big topic these days. Uh, the title of the special issue is Software Analytics So What? So maybe you could talk about why we have the So What piece there. Well, it seems reasonable that after decades of work in this area that we actually have some statement of what has been achieved. Uh, if perhaps people are concerned about too much hype in this area, perhaps it's time to have somewhere an easily accessible catalog of the achievements in this area. And the achievements are many and multitude. If you look at the area of application, um, you know, what we need to do is say hurrah. Um, uh, you know, 30 years ago it wasn't known whether software artifacts could actually generate a signal which we can find with data miners. What we can say right now is many kinds of software artifacts can contain signals that we can find with data miners. Excellent. It, and the, the list is truly impressive. Uh, the, the, the emails that people send each other we can mine for social patterns. Yes. The bug reports that we collect we can find ways to say, um, you know, next time we inspect our software, which is something I know you're interested in a little, mm -hmm. a little bit, let's start over here rather than over there. And yes. the standard result there is we can find ways to find 20% of the bugs, 20% of the code containing 80% of the errors. So Excellent. read it in here. Um, uh, uh, we can go to um, uh, the app stores and we can find business rules that make an app more successful. You know, this is an incredible achievement. And the, the list of artifacts from which we can extract signals grows and grows and grows. Excellent, excellent. So I know, that I, I feel like the special issue that you have led, we got a lot of uh, submissions for, uh, probably more than we usually get, so it's going to be quite a competitive issue. Well, I, I have to, it's very, it was very competitive. I have to say I didn't lead it. It was, it was, <laughs> ah, it was yes, truly a joint effort between myself and Tom Zimmerman. And we received 27 submissions. Uh, we were shocked at the level of interest. Uh, I think it reflects what's going out there in industry right now, the incredible fascination in software analytics. We had to split it over two issues. That's right, which uh, is quite unusual for us, actually, I should say. And we need to tell people that there's no distinction between, it's not like, you know, grade one and grade two. It That's was, right. it was, it was, it was um, uh, 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 topic areas we put together, mm -hmm. so. Great. So, and I think the ones that did make it into the final issue, we have quite a lot of industrial experience there. So people are clearly, like you said, doing this in practice and getting good results. And we made sure we had reports from large industry experiences. That's right. That's right. We also made sure we had uh, uh, reports of successful analytics in a small industry uh, setting, in open source as well. So we can truly say there's a large number of industry types where this sort of technology is actually useful. Excellent. Well, this is going to be a great special issue, Tim. So thank you so much. Thank for you for your help. <laughs>